Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review The Deer King, a new anime from G Kids, and this fantasy adventure film focuses on the last survivor of a band of warriors is enslaved in a salt mine. One night a savage dog attacks and a mysterious disease wipes out everyone at the mine, the warrior and a young girl while gift um, the warrior escapes the young girl while a gifted physician looks for a cure to this disease. And at the core of this film, you have this warrior and young girl's relationship over the course of time, and that's definitely the big anchor to the film. And there's a lot of feeling and heart, and I love these two characters together, all the trials and tribulations that they go through with each other. I Their relationship really is the core of it. This is a beautifully animated film. It's visually striking. There's moments where it does feel like visually and conceptually it's borrowing from some things. Like, it feels like it's borrowing a bit from Princess Mononoke. Um, there's some things that go on late in the film that feel pretty derivative of other fantasy type ideas and properties. Feel There's one particular thing that feels like it's ripped right from Game of Thrones. But you have these kinds of elements that come together and make a pretty engaging and enjoyable and exciting adventure. This film is two hours, and I feel like sitting through this film, you have elements that are very exciting. The third act of the film really pulls you in where they really show off visually and how they portray action and the nature and the creatures in this film because you have big deer, deer king, you have big wolves and all those things and it's exciting, it's crazy, it really comes to a moving and emotional climax. But the second act of this film, there's a lot of time that feels padded. It feels like it's dragging a bit. The world building might be more interesting and engaging than the actual narrative, which feels very loose through most of the film and trying to carry this forward. But you have directors Masashi Ando and Masayuki uh, Miyagi who really make something cool and exciting here. Because they've done some other great films like Paprika and When Marnie Was Here and did some of the animations on some other big films. And this one has that like high fantasy kind of feel. The way it brings nature into the fold narratively and visually is exciting and engaging. I just feel like this isn't like top tier and a fantasy anime, but it is something that is exciting, has great action, it has heart, and for the most part will keep you engaged throughout its runtime. There are some spotty moments where it kind of loses its steam, but in general, it'll leave you wanting some more. And I sure did too. Wait to make sure that you sit through the credits because the story does continue and gives you some hopeful moments for the future of this warrior and this young girl's relationship. But in the end, this is a fun, exciting fantasy adventure in beautiful animation. So go check it out. But those are my thoughts on The Deer King. Let me know what you think and let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.